What's up guys? All right, we got week one, little week one video to hopefully help you with what we're working on. Um, so first thing we did, we started warming up. We went toe up, chest towards the toe, hips go back about 10 times on each side. You can scoop the water if you wanna get fancy. Uh, we, then we got our ankle touches, touching the inside ankles, about 10 a piece, and then outside ankles, keeping that knee down, sucking in the stomach tight, trying to get those hips loose, that internal, external rotation of the hips. So then we go to the wall, and we get we start working on our posture here, very important. We're gonna suck in the stomach, hips, shoulders, head, touching the wall, if you can. If the head has to come off the wall, totally normal, that's fine, but we're gonna push against the wall with the back of our hands, squeezing the shoulder blades. Do that for 20 seconds. Then we come a little higher, push into the wall, squeezing the shoulder blades, sucking in the stomach. Then we do that for 20 seconds, and you go to no money. No money is where we go elbows in here. We're gonna open the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades, open the hands, squeezing. We're going 15 times, still sucking in tight. Then we go to our pelvic tilt, which is very important, you'll hear a lot about it. You're gonna pelvic tilt, push that low back flat into the wall. You're gonna go arms straight up. The key is to hold that contact with the wall with the low back while your arms go straight up and down, just like so. Uh, then we go, yeah, that's, so that's there. So then we're gonna go into two rounds of the next four exercises. These four exercises are gonna focus on those four focuses of balance, flexibility, core engagement, which is that pelvic tilt right here, engaging the abs so that we get power from the abdominals, taking a lot of load off the back. Then we're looking at sequencing of motion where we're looking at loading that hip, getting to that right side, firing out of the hips and lower body, through the ball, into that left side, hips towards the target, working on that that whole sequence of motion. So the first exercise we got right here, we take a chair. We're gonna work on mobility, turning into that hip, looking at getting the mobility in the hip. As we get that internal hip rotation, that allows us to load. So we're gonna go right here, hands on the, on the seat, other leg back, nice and straight, sucking in the stomach, reaching back, turning towards this front leg. Now don't let that knee fall out. Keep that knee in and try to rotate the hips inward. Don't just get that arm back. Try to turn the hips towards that front leg. 10 times, both sides, just like so. Now, if that's easy, you just go a little bit lower, possibly to the ground where you're turning into that leg here the same way. If it was hard, go, go something higher, get here. That's okay, no big deal, it's week one. Then, the next exercise are our kneeling rows. Got my band, got to put it around something stationary here. Uh, I would normally get a pad for my knee, but I don't have one with me. And what I'm gonna do is Right here on my knee, I'm going to pelvic tilt. I'll switch sides so you can see it a little better. So I'm right here, I'm going to pelvic tilt, sucking in stomach. You're gonna feel that pull right in that, that bottom leg. You're gonna pull, squeeze the shoulder blades. Now we're attacking the posture, pulling here, as well as the pelvic tilt down into the hip flexors, getting that mobility here, which is important, especially to the fo in the follow through right there. So then we are going into our plank with the pelvic tilt. So now we're talking, we're really focusing on the pelvic tilt, ab strength, ab engagement. And what I'm gonna do, again, I would take a pad typically, put it under my knees, elbows here. Now, some of you might wanna start here and just work the pelvic tilt with a little cat-cow exercise, just right there, getting the, that, the motion of that pelvic tilt ingrained. If you get that, then we'll go to the elbows. I'm gonna pelvic tilt, suck it in the stomach, and then I'm just gonna lift my knees up. I don't know if you can see me, but I'm on my toes, and I have that pelvic tilt, and I'm holding that plank with the pelvic tilt. I see planks all the time where people are 
all low back like this. They don't actually pelvic tilt first and hold with the abs. So very key there, getting the abs engaged. Um, and then we're gonna take our band. I'm going to attach it to something stationary. Now, typically, if I go too far this way, you're not gonna see me, so let's just pretend that that band is nice and stiff. And what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm, I'm going left-handed, but I would actually load that right side. I'm not worrying about the golf swing yet. We're not, we're not getting into that yet. We're just looking at that basic of move, movement where we're going left to right or right to left. We're gonna do both sides to stay even, but I'm here, I load that left side, and I fire through over to my right side. Load punch. I would go right handed like so where I load and I punch through, load, punch through. Do not worry about your golf swing and trying to mimic that right now. Uh, then after we get through those two, uh, two rounds of those four exercises, we go into four different exercises, um, still focusing balance, flexibility, core engagement, single single motion. The four exercises are now, the first one, stork turns. I'm gonna hold on because I just started doing these. My balance isn't real good, so I'm turning here. As you get better, you can go balance, stork turn here. Sucking in tight, turning. Much rather you hold on and get that mobility than worrying about balance right now. I'm, my hip's actually internally rotating as I turn. That's gonna help that load and that follow through, we wanna do both sides. Uh, then we're going to uh, a little bit of balance and positioning, trying to hold our spine angle where I'm gonna take this band again. I'm gonna hook it up again to something more stationary than this chair, but for, vid for video purposes, we're gonna use it. I'm gonna go here, pretend that this uh, band is a little tighter. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get into my golf stance. I'm right here. I'm gonna pelvic tilt just a little bit. You're not gonna hit here. You're gonna just a little pelvic tilt. Hold that spine angle. Now, I'm gonna step back and bring my knee up. Not changing position. So when I put that foot back down, my spine angle is still the same. I'm just back and up. I go 15 per side. Then, uh, I'm gonna go rotations with my stability ball. Now we're gonna have to use our imagination here for the video because I don't have a stability ball here at home. Um, so pretend I had one of those big balls you see around the fitness center. It's going right, right around my, right in front of my chest. I'm hugging that band, just like hugging that ball with the band, just like so. Now I'm going to suck in tight, little pelvic tilt to keep the abs engaged. I'm going to rotate. I'm gonna pull that band. It'll be much stiffer than this but I'm gonna rotate just like so 15 times. That's, that's gonna put the rotation in my core here and really try to use my abs as I turn. Then the final, final one is the post and turn. So this, one of my favorite warm up exercises on the tee box for a lot of my players is we're gonna start with just bend that left knee, post it straight, turn here. I'm trying to turn knee to knee, try not to fall to the outside of my foot, keep the weight on the inside of my foot. Bend, straighten, turn. Bend, straighten, turn. Notice I'm not trying to get into my stance. I'm just standing up tall. Bend, straighten, turn. I do that 10 times, and I go to the other side. Bend, straighten, turn. I'm actually getting a lot of mobility through my hips. I'm getting used to being on that one side so that my balance is good and I'm comfortable going all the way through the ball. Once I go 10 to both sides, and I just go both sides. I'm just nice and loose 10 times. I am sucking in tight here. I'm getting used to go pivoting that foot. I see so many people come here and not actually pivot the foot to bring the hips around. So I'm getting comfortable with that motion. Um, that's the fourth exercise. We repeat it those four two times and then you're done with the workout.